Krishna tells in Bhagavad Gita, Yegata mam prabhagyante tamstataiva that as we approach Krishna, Krishna reciprocates. Krishna's none different than his holy names. As the service attitude in which we approach the holy names is how Krishna is going to reciprocate with our chanting. Sankirtan, which is kirtan, bhajan, japa, this is param vijayate shri Krishna sankirtanam. It is the prime benediction for all humanity. Nam nama kari nija sarvasha. It was here in Jagannath Puri that Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu composed Shikshastakam, the eight verses that instruct what is the mood in which we should chant the holy names of the Lord. The tattva and the spirit of the sadaka in chanting. From the most beginning stages, when we sincerely chant Krishna's name, it purifies our hearts and awakens ananda, the happiness that we're all seeking. He declares that Krishna has many names, and in each of these names is invested with his own presence. If only we could realize, sincerely seeking shelter, those in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, transcendental sound vibration. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tells that we can always chant the holy names of the Lord when we are earnestly seeking to be humble, tolerant, forgiving. When we do not demand or expect respect for ourselves, as devotees, then to that degree it becomes natural that we find joy in offering respect to others. Such a open secret. In fact, it's at the core of all the great spiritual paths of the world. But still, the mind, influenced by the ego, makes it so difficult to actually understand the joy of feeling self-importance and being recognized as others as important is insignificant in comparison to the joy of when the pure heart honors and respects the presence of God in other people's hearts. So yes, when we come on pilgrimage, Krishna will reciprocate according to how we are actually taking shelter of his holy names. When we're earnestly taking shelter, Krishna reciprocates accordingly. Srila Prabhupada would sometimes say, if you approach God, the deity is wood or stone, that is what the deity will show you. If you approach the deity as the ultimate object and goal of your life, then Krishna will reveal himself as he is.